Rory and I will be talking about context over content and how brands should approach the mobile space. But we start at the end of 2007, when Rory said that media has gone from being scarce to overabundant. A large budget no longer guarantees attention, as consumer attention is far more voluntary. With a recession between then and now, I asked Rory if this is still the case. Uh, it's still true, and it's having um, a variety of uh, effects. One of the problems in a recession, when content is abundant, particularly when advertising space is abundant, is that the price falls to near zero. With conventional media, you can create artificial scarcity. Uh, one luxury goods magazine at the moment has knocked out 10 to 12 pages of advertising every month at a cost of a million dollars in revenue every month just so that they can actually keep up the price they demand for the remaining space. Are, we, are you finding that in the recession people are once again perhaps reverting to short-term views and not, still not taking in the bigger picture? Within companies, there's always the danger that the need for comparison and the need for self-justification causes people to lean very, very heavily on one measure, or indeed just to lean very heavily on historical media and resist experimentation. Generally, the things that digital media do, and mobile media especially, do particularly well, aren't measured by attention metrics. So in other words, attention, how many eyeballs did I reach for each thousand pounds I spent doesn't factor in things like engagement. It doesn't factor in the fact that a voluntary audience, a self-selecting audience, is purer and more valuable than a random audience you pick yourself. It doesn't factor in virality, for example. You've trumpeted the case for context and not content being king. What do you mean by that? Simply that the nature of the communication people want and appreciate and the very meaning of the communication and the significance it has is as much dependent on when it's delivered and how timely the delivery is and how appropriate it is to, to what you're doing at that moment, what mode you're in in the buying process, for example, as it is to do with the content itself. Likewise, saying things like sorry is more dependent on how fast you say it than on how well you say it. Uh, responding to customer complaints or indeed to customer praise is, is contextual. There are an awful lot of service brands where most of the time you should leave your customers to healthy, efficient and cost-effective self-service. But if you can very, very rapidly spot those people who are upset and actually respond to that in real time contextually, uh, you've done something really remarkable.